everyone, it's Mia from Rose Nails by Marissa Coombs and today I'm going to be doing an ombre with the SPD London Signature Gel. I'm going to be using their Slip Solution and their Gel Brush and I'm going to be using colours Flamingo and White. And I've just shown you that I've just put a bit of that Slip Solution in a jar, that's just how I prefer to work. So we're going to start off with the white signature gel. I've just dipped my spatula in some of the slip solution just so that the product does not stick to the spatula because it's really annoying if that happens. So we're going to start at the tip with the white signature gel. And we're going to move that about two thirds of the way down the tip towards like the cuticle area making sure that you've put your brush in the slip solution and then just dabbed off any excess on the towel otherwise you're going to either flood the product with slip solution which you don't want because it can affect adhesion um, or you're going to stick to your product so so yeah just moving that around nicely so just drag it and, and it's, it's like really nice to use you don't have to drag I don't know why I'm saying drag but you do kind of pull it um, pull the product into place. If you've got any excess, just take it off. You can see I was just I was chasing this little bit around that I was trying to get rid of. And popping it in a little bit where I had a dip. So that is like, oh, I love, I really, really love this signature gel. It's quickly becoming one of my favourites because it doesn't try and self-level like a hard gel um, and it doesn't set on you like an acrylic. So I just decided that I done I got a bit too much out of the tube, so I'm just using my spatula with some of the slip solution on just to what did I say then slip solution, um, just to take some of the product off, and I'm literally just pulling this about two thirds of the way down. It doesn't have to be super neat where the sort of end of the two thirds is. It's just kind of blending it away from the tip as neatly as possible, but that is going to be covered up. It's just to give that slight fade effect. I'm really sorry, my light seems to be glaring on the white quite badly, which is a bit of a pain. So can you just see like where I've kind of moved it like two thirds of the way down? And then I'm gonna pop that into my lamp. So now I'm gonna go in with a Flamingo, which is a gorgeous pink uh, signature gel. It's really, really nice for nail bed um, colors. And it's also got like a goldy shimmer through it, which is really, really pretty. I should have wiped my spatula off at this point, but I was in a hurry because I've still got some white on it, but it didn't affect anything, so I'm lucky. Um, so yeah, we're going to use that Flamingo now to create the nice, even cuticle work, and we're not going to build an apex at this point. We're just going to kind of get our sort of initial blend in, or this is how I did it anyway. So I'm just getting that nice neat cuticle and then just getting that sort of first blend down. So just pull in the product. It comes really, really nicely and like you don't have to like drag it or anything like that. It's it's not lumpy or clumpy. It, it really sort of um, smooths really nicely doesn't really require any effort which is great for beginners and just anyone really to be fair so I'm just going to graduate that down so as I come towards the white I am going to pull the product a little bit more just so that it sort of gives that nice fade because I don't really want a big line where the pink and white meet we don't want that we want a nice fade and then I do go in with a second bead of pink which is where I'm going to build my apex and sort of continue with a bit more of the fade. I was faffing around with this little bit of pink here and I should have just left it. Oh my god. Faff faff faffity faff. I think sometimes I over faff. I just need to leave it. I need, I need to leave well alone. Look at me faffing. There we go. Got there in the end. So yeah, once you've blended that down to the point where you're happy about it, then just pop it in the lamp. 
and you are going to be doing a little bit more fading with your sort of second bead. Um, if you don't want to apply it like this and you wanted to apply it all, like, like all your pink all at once, then you can do that if that's what you're comfortable with. And then I would suggest then capping in clear, uh, in clear signature gel so that when you're filing, you don't file away any of your blend because that would be sad. That would be so sad. Just getting that nice little bit of cuticle. Nice and neat and flush. And then we're going to do exactly the same thing again. Um, but this time you're just going to make sure that you're building your apex into that. I like to, give, to sort of do one layer of the pink underneath, just so I've got that blend to kind of follow. Does that make any sense at all, or am I blabbering? But yeah, then I've got like a blend to follow, and then you'll kind of see it like underneath the second bead of colour. So it helps with that sort of gradual blend. I hope that makes sense. So if at this point any of your product is sticking to your brush, make sure you re-dip it in the slip solution because obviously you don't want it sticking to your product at any point when you're trying to do the blend, otherwise it's going to be all lumpy bumpy. I had an annoying bit of fluff in this area which I, I just spend the next like 30 seconds trying to get rid of. <laughs> I got it out in the end though, there you go, boom. And again, like, even though, like, you see, I've made, made, now made, like, a dip in the product where I was getting that fluff out. You just move it all around and it just sorts itself back out because it's not setting up on you. It's one of the major plus points, but it also isn't, like, dripping anywhere. So it's, it's really nice. It's really stiff. You can hold the whole thing upside down over your head or whatever. It doesn't go anywhere. It's not moving anywhere like a gel does. And it's not setting up like an acrylic does. So this is really why I'm totally falling in love with Signature Gel. I absolutely love it. It's just oh, it's just a winner all round. All the positives of acrylic and the positives of gel. It just has it all. So just keep working towards the white. And you're working that pink again about two thirds of the way down towards the free edge now. So you've got that nice little overlapping bit where you can see the white underneath the pink for the ombre just work it down until you're happy obviously I'm gonna faff more than the average chicken because I like to faff I seem to be really really good at it so yeah once you're happy go and pop it in the lamp and it's a 60 second cure for signature gel I'm just gonna cleanse off that sticky layer and then take it off of my tip holder because I cannot file on a tip holder at all so I'm just gonna file that into shape just keep an eye, when you're filing Signature Gel, it files like an absolute dream. Like it really does, like you touch it with a file and it just, it files so nicely, it's like butter. But obviously when you're doing something like an ombre, if you haven't done it sort of quite thinly and then capped in clear to make the apex, then you just need to make sure that you're not filing away your colour and your blend as you're doing it. So if you do do it in the same method that I have done, just keep an eye on the colour as you are filing. If you have done it in, in the colours in a much more flat uh, application and then cap the whole thing to make your apex in clear, then you shouldn't have to worry, you shouldn't be filing down to the colour at all. It just depends on how you want to do it. Um, I quite like doing it flat and then capping in clear signature gel. Uh, or clear gel or whatever I'm using. However, I do not have clear signature gel yet, but it is on its way to me. And I can't wait because I've got so many transparent designs in mind. So yeah, keep an eye out for videos on those because I've got loads of gorgeous new glitters and I've got this clear signature gel coming. And I just love the clear look, like clear nail look. I love it, the glass nails, jelly nails, whatever you want to call them. So yeah, if you do cap in clear, then obviously you won't have to worry about uh, filing through your blend. Just see how I'm like rocking the file sort of back and forth over the nail as well, just so that you don't 
end up with big horrible lines in your filing when it comes to top coating. You want it really, really nice and super smooth. This is a, what file am I using? I'm using a 180 file. I did not need to use a harsher file than that because I would have taken off my nice blend. Um, this stuff files that blimmin' easily, but it's so nice and hard. Like when it's on the nails, it's so durable. It's really nice. But yeah, I didn't need to use anything harsher than a 180. So I'm just gonna get rid of all my dust with a bit of cleanser and stick that back to my tip holder. I don't know what I'm doing there. <laughs> it's a mystery. What am I doing? Oh, I'm putting it back on the tip holder. I think I'd lost my blob of blue tack. I think that was the problem. I'd lost my little blob. So I'll put my blob of blue tack back on. And so I'm just going to go in with the SBD London Tempering Top Coat. I'm just, I should have waited a little bit longer to be fair, but because this is not on a human being, um, I should have waited a little bit longer for the cleanser to evaporate, but never mind. So yeah, you can kind of see all the beautiful flecks in the glitter from the uh, Flamingo Signature Gel. It's really pretty. It's so delicate though, so like, it's not like your client would have to be requesting full glitter to think this is super pretty. So I'm just going to pop that into the lamp. And there we have it. That is my pink and white ombre baby boomer, whatever you want to call it. And again, the products made it really, really easy. I know I spent a lot of time faffing, but I genuinely do that anyway. So thanks ever so much for watching and keep an eye out for the next video. Bye.